We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about all the drama, honey, that's going on today on social media. Make sure y'all have y'all teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So what's going down right now is basically black Twitter is dragging the shit out of Shea Moisture. There's supposed to be a natural hair product line. They've been around for years. And they decided out the blue to start not only changing their formula, but to start making their products more diverse and to start making commercials based around white women and racially ambiguous slash biracial women. And a lot of black women who have been supporting this product from day one are really taken aback and offended by this because it's supposed to be a product that was initially told it to be natural for black women's hair, especially for, you know, kinkier textures like 4C, 4B, 4A hair textures. They've been watering the products down, you know, taking a lot of the moisture out. And a lot of people have been complaining for months that their product has changed and that they don't like it and that it's not working in their natural, you know, four to three textured hair textures. So like I said, people have been complaining for months, but the final straw was today when they released a commercial basically featuring these women. And when they released this commercial, when I tell you all hell broke loose on black Twitter, all hell damn broke loose, okay? Go ahead and check out this commercial. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. People would like throw stuff in my hair and then I'd just be walking and there'd be like little paper balls in my hair. I hated it because it's like, oh, I have this and people make fun of me for it. It was lots of days staring in the mirror like, I don't know what to do with it. I just didn't feel like I was supposed to be a redhead. I dyed my hair blonde for seven years of my life, platinum blonde. I didn't really embrace my natural hair. But then, you know, as I got older, I learned how to do it and I learned how to love it. Shea Moisture, holy grail right here. It just gives us all the results that we need. It's kind of that go-to product. I think a good hair day is the best kind of day. I feel like I have conquered the world. I love my hair. I love the volume. I love the curl. I love the texture. I love everything about it. Everything about it. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody, Everybody gets love. All right, so you just saw that commercial. And, you know, when I first watched it, I was just like, really? So you're trying to compare somebody's hair texture that's kinky. You know, how many stories have I done of black women being fired from jobs or guys not getting jobs because they had dreadlocks or, you know, black children being sent home from school because they thought their hair was unruly? You cannot compare that to a hair color. Nobody's going to kick you out of school because you're a natural redhead. But they can kick you out of school because you have dreadlocks or because they see your hair is unkempt. So in my personal opinion, that was mixing apples and oranges. And then on top of that, Tariq Nasheed called himself trying to get up in the fray and people were dragging him as well. You know, basically he's trying to take up for Shea Moisture and Shea Moisture is thanking him. And then at that point, a lot of white folks started dragging them like, okay, Tariq is a racist and all this stuff and how dare you side with him. And black folks were getting on him because they're like, okay, you're supposed to be Mr. Pro-Black, but this company is clearly catering towards white people and catering towards people of other races and not their core fan base. So now you're coming off as hypocritical. But people also need to remember that Tariq Nasheed has a biracial wife. So maybe that's why he's not bothered by the commercial because his wife is not full black. So I don't know, but the whole situation was crazy. Go ahead and check out these tweets, these comments, and folks going off on Tariq Nasheed for his opinion as well.
All right, so you guys just saw the comments, the tweets, and folks, you know, going back and forth with him. And, you know, you guys saw what he had to say, you know. So he was, you know, trying to defend himself and make his stance clear. You know, the whole situation is insane. I have no dog in this fight because if you guys have been on my channel for any length of time, you guys know I don't use store brand products. You guys have never seen me promote any products from the store or say, you know, run and go get Carol's daughter or run and go do this. For the past 10 years, I've been making my own products. I make my own shea butter. I make my own all-natural body products, hair products. I used to sell my own products, but it just became too much. But shout out to all the people who did used to buy my products. You know, I had no complaints. Um, they were 100% natural. Help people's hair grow and everything else. So I've always made my own products, so I can't get up here and act like, I was a purchaser of Shea Moisturizer or that I've been a day one fan. I, I don't know what their products consist of, but I think people need to realize that it's, you know, it's kind of insulting when people try and tell black women how they should feel about something. I'm all for, you know, expanding your business and making, you know, things more inclusive, but to dumb down your products, to change products that people were using for their hair and things that people depend on, I think that's a slap in the face, especially for black women because a lot of times when you go to certain stores, especially depending on the location, like if you're in the suburbs, you might only find literally just one shelf or one small half a aisle section for black hair products. Whereas, you know, when you go in those same section, there's literally three, four, and five aisles for white people's hair. So a lot of our products, we don't have a whole lot of products to choose from unless you make your own like I do. So when you find a good product that works with your particular hair grade, it can be very, very disheartening when they start changing it because that's the same thing that happened to Carol's daughter. When Carol's daughter first came out, people loved their products. People raved about their products. Same thing with Miss Jessie's. People loved her products as well. But then once they went commercial and, you know, they want to expand their brand and make it where other races can use it as well. Well, at that point in time, you do have to change the formula because you can't have a bunch of heavy oils and a lot of moisture in products that are, you know, that are not being catered towards a looser hair grade. People who have 1A to 2A hair pattern, like the hair texture, they can't have a bunch of heavy oils in their hair. They can't have a lot of moisture in their hair. So you have to make the products different. But the problem is that affects women who have grades between three and four. You know what I'm saying? Because that hair needs moisture. That hair needs oils and things like that to keep it from breaking off. So that's the main reason why a lot of black women are mad. They're not so much tripping off of the ad. People have been complaining about their products for a while now. You can watch YouTube videos of women talking on how the products have changed you know but I also do find it kind of insulting that this is supposed to be a black hair care um, line started by black people black business black women help to basically make this company what it is and for them to do a commercial and not include full black women is just crazy to me you know that's cool Include the racially ambiguous biracial girl because I'm sure there's racially ambiguous biracial people who buy the product. Include the redhead white girl because I'm sure there'll be some more redhead white girls buying the product. But you can't just forget about your main core base, which is women who are, you know, who are full black, who tend to have kinkier hair, who have been the ones supporting your products from day one. They should have very much made sure that that demographic was also represented because before the biracial chicks came, before the white chicks came, it was the full black chicks who had that particular hair texture that you were catering to, who put money in your pocket, who helped make your brand what it is today. There's nothing wrong with expanding. There's nothing wrong with bringing other races in. I think what they should have done is just make a separate line for those particular hair grades. I think that'd have been fine. Call it Shea Moisture for straighter hair. Shea Moisture for hair textures one through C. You know, something like that, as opposed to changing the original formula that was meant for a particular hair grade. So that's what I want people to realize. It's not about, you know, this whole race thing. It's not about, oh, black women are just mad because white girls are in the commercial. That was a small part of it, but the bigger part is the fact that they changed the formula and it started to affect a lot of black girls' hair. And this has been, you know, been talked about for months. So unless you are black and you have that particular hair texture and you use that product on a daily basis, you really can't judge any of these women for feeling some type of way. Yes, you're gonna have people who, you know, who go all the way out, who are always in their feelings about something, but a lot of the complaints were genuine. A lot of these complaints were coming from genuine customers, and I'm not gonna tell them that they can't feel how they feel because 
I don't use that product. They have every right to state how they feel if they're the ones putting money in that company's product and if they're the ones putting that product on their own hair. So again, ladies, I think for me, the best advice I can give to you guys is to learn how to make your own hair products. I've been making my own hair products for 10 years. I would never buy anything out the store. I'm not interested. I make my own gels. I make my own everything. You know what I'm saying? The only time I might put something from the store on my hair and it's not even on my hair is if I use that like got to be gel for some of my wigs or something like that. So like a stronger hold gel, I will buy that out the store. But regular gel, I can make that myself. You know what I'm saying? I make my own aloe vera sprays for my hair. You know, I make a lot of little products for my hair and, you know, just maintain it. Because honestly, even though some of these products came to be natural, a lot of these products are not as natural as some people think. Because they still have to have certain chemicals in their products to, you know, basically keep that shelf life. You know, so I just find the whole situation just really, really unfortunate. But after getting drugged by their damn shea butter locks, they ended up coming back and apologizing to their core fan base. So they ended up posting an apology on Facebook and on Instagram and Twitter. And I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Shea Moisture said. They basically said, real talk, we fucked up. So this is what they're saying. They're saying, so guys, listen, we really effed this one up. Please know that our intention was not and would never be to disrespect our community. And as such, we were pulling this piece immediately because it does not represent what we intended to communicate. You guys know that we have always stood for inclusion and beauty and have always fought our community and given them credit for not just building our business, but for shifting the beauty landscape. So the feedback we are seeing here brings to light a very important point. While this campaign included several different videos showing different ethnicities and hair types, to demonstrate the brute of depth of each individual's hair journey, we must absolutely ensure moving forward that our community is well represented in each one so that the women who have led this movement never feel that their hair journey is minimized in any way. We are keenly aware of the journey that women of color face and our work will continue to serve as the inspiration for work like Perception Institute's Good Hair Study implement association tests that suggest that a majority of people, regardless of race and gender, hold some bias towards women of color based on their hair texture or based on natural hair. So you're right, we are different, we should have known better. Thank you all as always for the honest and candid feedback. We hear you, we're listening, we appreciate you, we count on you, and we're always here for you. Thank you, Shea fam, for being there for us, even when we make mistakes. Here's to growing and building together. So that was their apology. And I respect them for taking right to social media and apologizing for their, you know, quote unquote blunder and for taking ownership and responsibility and basically explaining their side. So I respect them for that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't buy their products anyway. So I didn't contribute to this success. So I, I can't just go at them and go super hard because I have no dog in this fight. But I just think that, you know, a lot of black owned companies especially when it comes to hair and body products that were initially created for black women or women of color, they need to not forget their core fan base. Because again, they need to take Carol's daughter as an example. You know, she was making a lot of money. People really loved her products. But, you know, once it went commercial, now you can find that shit in the damn four ninety nine bin at Marshall's. You know what I'm saying? Nobody uses Carol's daughter like that. And I would hate for this to happen to Shea Moisture. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning social media and Twitter, going off on Shea Moisture, going off on Tariq Nasheed. I mean, it's just been so much drama today. It's insane. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.